Hello, in this lecture, I will be discussing about the experiments carried out by Avery, MacLeod and McCarty, which identified the nature of the transforming principle. In the previous lecture, I have explained the experiments which was carried out by Frederick Griffith using two strains of bacteria Streptococcus pneumoniae. In 1928, Griffith published his research and his results showed that virulent strain which was the smooth strain could somehow convert or transform the non-virulent strain which was the R strain into the virulent form. Furthermore, it was also found that transformation was heritable. By performing this experiment, Griffith came up with his idea of transforming principle. But he did not conclude anything about the nature or the biochemical properties of the transforming principle. After Griffith's report of transformation, Oswald Avery along with many other scientists set out to determine the chemical nature of the substance that allowed transformation to occur. In 1944, Oswald Avery and his colleagues Maclean McCarty and Colin MacLeod carried out several experiments and reported that the transforming substance, the genetic material of the cell was DNA. Now let us see the experimental setup. At first they took A strain bacteria. We have to remember that the A strain bacteria was the virulent strain. Now A strain bacteria was taken and it was heat killed. After heat killing the H strain bacteria, a extract was prepared from this heat killed H strain bacteria. Now, we can say that the extract contained all the things or all the materials which is present in the heat killed H strain bacteria. So, after preparing the extract, first lipids and carbohydrates were removed from this extract using several enzymes. Now after removing the lipids and the carbohydrates, this extract now contains only proteins, RNA and DNA. So after preparing this extract with only protein, RNA and DNA, the extract was then divided into three different parts. To the first part, first proteinases or proteases, so I will write it over here, proteinases or proteases were added. These proteases are the enzymes which actually degrade the protein. So after adding these proteases or proteinases, this sample now contained no protein. So protein was absent or became absent from this part of the solution. Subsequently to the second part ribonuclease were added. Ribonuclease are the enzymes which actually degrade the RNA. So after addition of ribonuclease this part of the extract contains no RNA. And in the third part there was addition of deoxyribonuclease. Deoxyribonuclease is the enzyme which degrades the DNA. So in this part of the solution, there was no DNA. So three different samples was now prepared. In one sample, there was no protein. In the second sample, there was no RNA. And in the third sample, there was no DNA. Now, to this samples, now addition of live R strain bacteria was done. So to this sample you can see that live R strain bacteria was added and it was checked whether transformation took place or not. Subsequently to this solution also live R cells were added or live R strain of bacteria was added and it was checked for transformation. Similarly thing was done with this part of the extract, to this part of the extract live R strain of 
bacteria was added and transformation occurred or not it was checked. So what was observed? It was observed that when live R strain of bacteria was added to the solution containing no protein, in that solution live S cells bacteria which was the virulent strain of bacteria that started to appear. So we can say that transformation took place. Similar thing was also observed when live R cells was added to the solution which contained no RNA. After addition of live R strain bacteria to the solution containing no RNA, live S cells started to appear that proved that transformation had occurred. But when live R cells was added to the solution containing no DNA, no live S cells appear. So there was no S cells appeared in the solution that it proved that no transformation took place in this part of the solution. So what can be concluded from this experiment? This experiment clearly proved that when the DNA of the S strain bacteria was destroyed, they lost the ability to transform the R strain bacteria into live S strain bacteria. When other components such as polysaccharide coat, lipid, RNA or protein were destroyed, transformation still took place. Hence, it was proved that the transforming substance the genetic material of the cell was DNA. Now this was a great discovery. It was the first evidence that the transforming principle or the genetic material are made up of DNA. But their discovery was received with a mixture of enthusiasm, suspicion and perplexity. But later Hershey and Chase did their experiment and confirmed that definitely it was DNA which was the genetic material. Hope this was helpful. Thank you.